Today is December 4th. It is 11 a.m. 2011. We're on our way to a home with two dogs, Peanut and Brody, a, a chocolate, a black lab, and a great Pyrenees. Apparently, there's some uh, aggression between them, the dogs. Um, so we're going to take a look. Uh, I, I have a little bit of an understanding of Peanut's behavior. Uh, he's a little fear motivated, and. Uh, and Brody, we have no idea. So we're going to go, knock on the door, see what we're greeted with, and see how we're going to deal with... They supposedly, hopefully, are not aggressive towards people. They actually become aggressive towards each other, particularly over food. But I'm guessing over other stimulation and other excitement, doorbells ringing and stuff. So we're going to go see. Let's see. We'll get back to you on this one. Okay, we're going to there. Dog barking. That's our first clue that we're at the right house. A little giveaway. That's our navigation. We're going to knock on the door. And I'm greeted by a dog barking. Um, come on up, if you can. Oh, here's Rich. Hi, Rich. We got one dog barking and another dog. Um, it's Mellow. This is Peanut, who I know. Data, you're doing good. And what, this is exactly what I want. The homeowner to just relax. I'll take care of the dog. And we wait. Hey. Get back, Brody. Get back. Get back. How are you? You're doing good. Miss yeah. Family. So obviously, Brody is all about has the season spirit. What's the matter? Me? Think some Santa Claus? All right. Okay. We can cut the filming for now. <laughs> okay, good. Roll it. It's rolling. Okay, so here we are, and um, Peanut and stop. I don't want them staring at each other, so I corrected them a little bit. So staring is this is their little thing. Um, I'm gonna go get some bacon, and you're just gonna relax. Everybody's relaxed. <laughs> That's 90% of this because we're controlling it. We're controlling it. Good, babe. And if he pulls on the leash, you're gonna correct him. Correct him. Fine. Good. Good. We'll edit that out. <laughs> we'll just keep the tail wagging apart. This is what season Milan does. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! It's amazing! All we gotta do is click things and make noise. Here, babe. You're a good dog. Um, okay, so so here is it. Es essentially, we're controlling the food. Then if I could ask one of you guys to go ring the doorbell, knock on the door, and you're going to relax your hands. Good, babe. Good. Good, babe. Good. And you're going to correct him, I think. Go ahead. Woo! Quiet. Good. Good. That's good. Hang on, we're coming. I want this dog back the way. Get back. Good. Correct. Good. Good, babe. Knock some more, son. Good. Coming. Quiet. Good. That's all good. Good. And you're going to do this. You're going to practice it. You're going to leave the leash on your lap. So we have plenty of assistance here okay. to come do this. If we can, but we don't have time to invite your brother tomorrow. Hang on. We're coming. All right. Good. Come on in. Good. So obviously, it's it's not going to be the problem. Then I'm just going to videotape the dog going down the stairs, just so you have an idea. The dog that we think is the problem is the bigger dog that wins the wars. Right. He wins by virtue that he's big. Big, right. But this this dog, Peanut, is really the antagonist, for lack of a better word. And she's fearful and those things. Is, was it your idea to you'll get the, you'll edit that out, right? The antagonist part? <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you, whose idea was to get Peanut? Everybody's? We found uh, her. Oh, found her. Found her. <laughs> oh, okay, found her in the woods. Oh, sad. All right. No, a whole litter of them. All right. Huh. So you see how we're going to roll with this. Later on when we leave, you're going to just have this leash on. And you might be sitting there and everybody's going to role play. You're going to pretend you're watching TV. You're going to pretend everybody likes each other for a little while. And then you're going to be relaxed. There's never tension on the leash. There's right. never holding the dog back because that's what triggers a lot of this. Right. Um, and then you're going to take turns. You're going to invite your brother-in-law over. Maybe that's too much. Maybe just do what I did. And to, so you only do what you can control. Right. You don't do more than that. Right. So what people do a lot of times, go ahead, babe, is 
they see something, they say, okay, well, I'm going to bring the dog to the dog park tomorrow. I think we may, I don't know, and then everything, there's, it's impossible. Right. You're not going to control it. If you can't control it in your living room or your kitchen, you're not going to control this behavior outside. All right, Camille, just come over here and show me, uh, watch going down the stairs. So this way you guys can understand how simple it is. Just like you took Peanut into the bedroom, the dog was going into the bedroom. Just because it was lying down pretending it was sleeping, like look, you said, <laughs> you said, I said, just go. And what happened? He ended up in the bedroom. Yeah. So I, this was a phobia. So I dealt with it for a few minutes, as I said, on the floor. But now the fear is over. So now it becomes disobedience. So we taught first. I taught first. Now I enforce. We're coming down. Come on, baby. Yeah, see? Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Good, babe. And then we come up. This is this first time the dog's been down the stairs in a year and a half. We've got a nice place down there. Ever. Ever. Okay. Go ahead up. Come on, babe. Good. And this was not done. Go ahead. Get up. Uh, you can drop the leash. And then you go sit down, and I'm going to hope that, you know, good dog. We're going to let them relax. And if you ignore him, don't let him have the bacon. Push away. Good. And I'm watching. And ignore them. Ignore them. So that just involves, sometimes it's going to be a, a little tough love, where you're going to push him away with your knee. Uh, and she's going to go And he's going to Oh, really? oh, it's water. It's water. Okay? But it doesn't matter. He doesn't know the difference. Oh. It's a ball. Right. But the point is... You sound like Mike. He doesn't know the difference. <laughs> no, but the point <laughs> is... <laughs> real. You have... <laughs> you have the... Uh, you have it down. So you know it. So then the first thing you got to say is, if this Brody thinks he's coming in here, what is they, they thinking? So you're right. So I stopped him. I stopped him. Without a lot of fanfare and not a lot of human drama. And again, I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination the problem's fixed, but I'm hoping we get relaxed, be conscious, of be really be in tune with what the dog is telling you about what his expectations are. So if he comes over here, you just get away from us, all of them. But she's pretty tough when he or she, she, she is pretty determined. Most of us, Brody wouldn't have done that. Brody would have responded to my corrections. He's like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to, his problem is situational, his situation, because he's not always in a state of fear. So if you're not, you know, I use the analogy of fear, fear of flying. If you're afraid of flying, you can't do other things. But down, down on the ground, you could be the most confident person in the world, but when the plane's bouncing at 30,000 feet, you can't even eat, because right. you're afraid. And a further analogy is when you are afraid, and there is fear, I like the doorbell ringing. If I'm on a plane and it's bouncing around in the sky, the first thing I do is I look for the flight attendant. Now, if they're having a, uh, a ginger ale and reading Cosmo, huh, I'm happy because there's a pretty good chance we're not dying. Right. But if they're running for oxygen masks and life preservers, <laughs> I'm freaking out. Right. So, this is the plane. The doorbell rings, fear. What's everybody? Flight attendants are running all scrambling. Right. Rather than We'll be with you in a minute, sir. We'll be with you in a minute, please, sir. And right. you're the leader. The point is, they are the leaders of the pack. Right. They're taking care of 130 people by being good leaders. Right. And that's the end of that spiel. They're being shy because the camera's run. Go ahead. So as we prepare to leave, we see our friend Peanut, we see our friend Brody. Thanks, denning, by the way, I want to make a good point to that, that the dog's yeah. denning. It chooses, there's not a den available, so the, den, the dog goes someplace safe. He can see me, the big bad wolf, without anything sneaking up behind, beside him. Um, and we're just mellowing things out. Leash and collar stay on, and we relax a little bit, and we set things up. We always set, we're ahead of the dogs. I'm going to go knock one more time, and we'll see if we can... Should I correct her? If she does. Hang on. Right, because one of the things you don't want to do is reach and start transmitting, right? right? So that, that's fine. Hi, I'm going to go get a piece of bacon. Camille, look, they're going to kill me. I'm going to use it up all the fresh. <laughs> this is <laughs> <case. laughs> So here's my bacon. It's not dog bacon. And I'm down here. 
Get back. Get back. Get back. Little tough love. Get back. And we do the three stooges. You also the three stooges. So that's our trading method. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Stop. See little ears come up. That's all. Okay, I think we, we're good for the moment.